Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. We're back with Kerbal Space Program. We've got 42 science. So we should probably spend some of it. So we will be getting a thermometer so we can tell how hot it is. And some communitrons so we can communicate back to base to say we've found out how hot it is. Static couplers so we can start binning parts that we don't want because we've only got the one parachute and eventually it will, won't be enough. So we'll have those and we will probably purchase the parts as we get around to getting them. We will also be having an electro liquid fuel engine. Doesn't. Um, so this one's just a generally pretty good liquid fuel engine. It's got thrust vectoring. That's the swivel bit. So you get a bit more control. A slightly larger big trash can full of bang. The hammer. And a very tiny fuel tank. Tiny, tiny fuel tank. And we'll research those. And again, we will buy them as and when we want them. Still got 32 more science, so survivability gives us radial mount parachutes, a service bay for putting components in, heat shields for when we've got to go really high, more science for the pressure monitor, a very simple little radiator panel in case we've got heat problems, and a tiny landing strut. Take that. Stability gives us nose cones, tiny little winglets. Nearly nothing, nothing is really known about this thing. Use it at your own risk. Manufacturer found lying by the side of the road and a radial decoupler. Well, that should get us a lot higher. We don't have enough credits for it. Nor we have enough credits for this one. So it looks like we are where we're going to get without doing some more science with that in mind. We should design ourselves a craft to go higher and faster and further than we've ever gone before. But first, I feel the need to do something, I don't know, a little bit silly. Let's grab our pod, and then let's grab another pod. Stick it there, and then we'll grab a fourth pod, and then we will grab another pod, and then we will rotate the entire thing onto its side. And this will be the science roller. What will the science do? Well, this will be, basically, we're going to take our new science experiments, take them onto the, um, the bit over here, and then we're going to roll around a bit to find new areas of science that we can do things. We don't need fuel tanks, any of these things. What we do want, no electrical, no thermal, don't want any communications. What I do want is some science. I'd like to buy the entry cost. Do I need to do that from the other one? Oh, I need to do that from the other one. Fine. Save. Leave. I'm kind of annoyed that I can't buy it from there. Anyway, Engineering 101. Can I not? Hmm. And Gur. Gur and hmm. I don't want to buy all of the parts. want to pay for this one. Ah, I had to hold down the right hand mouse button. And then drag over to it so I keep it up. Alright, fine. And I would like one of those. So, we're going to get this back so I don't need to worry too much about it. And I would like go with two for now. Two there, two there, and then we'll get our pressure meter. Tuck that in there, and there. Because I'm not entirely convinced how well it will work in terms of, you know, how many of these we can actually record safely. So I'm just going to strap a few on, and I think we've got have all of the crew. So what we should be able to do, I believe scientists such as our good friend Bill are able to re-equip these things. So Jeb you're there. 
Val, and Bob. Everyone's going for a roll. You're all going to be very, very ill at the end of this, but you know, let's find out. All right, launch. So first things first. Hey guys, I would like a lot of fresh data. Keep that. I would like to log the temperature data and keep that. All right. So it rotates that way, and it does indeed roll. So go that way, and then we will roll off this way. All right, something blew off. Not sure what that was. It does appear to be we lost a couple of the pressure sensors. All right, well let's um, log another one. All right, yes, yeah, so it was an <laughs> that was a atmospheric pressure sensor that we lost. Apparently, because I spun it up a bit too quick. Apparently, I was actually able to get it to spin it up enough that it counted as being airborne. Yes, apparently if I spin that up enough, it counts as being airborne. It's not what I wanted. Alright. Crew report well landed from KSB. Crew report. Keep. EVA report. Val. EVA report. Keep. Get back in. Temperature scan. Log temperature. Keep. Mystery goo observation. Observe. Keep. Atmospheric pressure sound. Ooh, that's the review data one. Let's try the other one. Log. Keep. Nice. Right, who's in this one? I can't tell which one you're in. Engineer, scientist, EVA. Hatches are obstructed. Alright, so you're on one of the ones that's upside down. Bob, EVA. So, can you? You can take that data. And then store experiments. If I tell you to let go, can you walk towards the camera? Collect the data, remove. Oh, you've fallen off, Bob. And then restore. Nice, right, so that should mean that that is, yeah, ready to go again. Now the question is can we get Bob back in board? Yes, we can. All right. So this thing rolls a little bit. Don't have a lot of authority, shall we say? Dashy control its direction. Lost another part. <laughs> Technically, this counts as flying. Not sure which bit it was that got blown off. Alright, fine. This is uh, dangerous. Much more dangerous than I thought it was going to be. Let's let's recover the vessel and keep the, get, let's get the science we've already got. Because I've been figuring that it's not going to explode. So that gave us 17 science. Quite a few parts, but we blew a fair few off. Yes, yes, fine. Uh, Val got an X, some XP, so... Awarded for any collision while on a vessel, so everyone got an explosion badge. Everyone got the 10 science badge, and Val got an EVA badge. Nice. Let's, well, let's just be honest. Let's do something slightly simpler um, over here and not quite so excessive. Um, let's just do a pair uh, science. So we want a pair of you, a pair of you. We'll move you all the way down to the end. Something I am just quickly going to check is... I 
did get the payload bay. I wish to purchase it. <laughs> yeah, so I've got to get it from R&D. Fine. I could say that in the middle and just tuck everything in it so that it's a bit more, you know, stable. But, not Jeb. Um, Val and Paul. Nice. All right. The smaller roller. Save, launch. I know, we're not an awful lot of space. Are you them? Yep, yep, I know Val, I'm sorry. So we should do a pressure scan. Log that. Keep. Log pressure data. Keep. And then. We roll up this idea. Does this still count as shores? Probably does. But at least we've got a bit more science from the ones on the right. So we should. Yep, yeah, alright, so we can get a little bit more science out of doing it. We should do it to observe. Keep <laughs> goose into board. I don't blame it. So, what we'll spend a bit of time doing now is building a bigger rocket. We've earned a bit more 60. Didn't blow anything up. No new ribbons. R&D. We've now got 40 science. Gives us the radial decouplers and the better winglets. These gives us a similar to the swivel, but without the thrust vectoring. So you get um, more power. And even bigger! Um, so the rocket booster and a half decent fuel tank. I think what actually what I want is I want is the aerodynamics. And we can if we can afford this. Nice. All right. So apparently we need to purchase these things from here. I don't want to purchase all of them. I only want the ones I actually want. Fine. I'll buy them all. I'll spend my precious, precious money. All right, we've got all of that lot. Let's quickly check if we've got any contracts I want to do. Pull a flea into orbits. Test a static coupler in flight above Kerbin. So I need to get it <laughs> over 55,000, and then above that, and then pop one. Well, there's a half decent chance I might do that anyway, so let's grab that one. Test a swivel in flight. Get really high and then pop it. Alright, not that interesting. Test a hammer. Well, so get a hammer that high and then fire it. No, no, I'm not interested. So. Have a stack the coupler, curb in flying, and there's our range. Alright. So we'll attempt to do that mission. Let's do the VAB. So we need a command pod. Raise it up a little bit. So we need to make sure we get up above, according to our contract, 55,000, and then be going more than that when we get above that. So, so let's see if we can set an altitude record, shall we? Uh, we want a fuel tank. Let's take that out. No, the stat couple is what we wanted. Uh, decoupling, 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 decoupling. Alright. Put one of those on. Actually, I'm pretty sure that if we can. I do have the, put the bay, the science bay, don't I? Where is it? Engines, fuel tanks, structural coupling, payloads, there we go. Service bay. Alright. Open the doors. Nice. And then I will stand a couple underneath it, and then we'll put a fuel tank on and we'll do the fill bits and pieces. Next thing we want is
just splashed in the ocean with a bit more cash. Um, we've got a part count. 30 parts is the maximum and 18 tons, alright, so we'll trim it down a bit. But what I wanted was a set of landing legs. Why do I want the landing legs? Let's turn the snap off. Why do I want the landing legs? Because I'm not completely convinced that the speed with which yonder craft is going to come down. So I want to make sure that when it does land, it doesn't land excessively hard and breaks itself. So yeah, I have to put the legs where I've currently got them. Otherwise, it won't work. All right, and now I need not thermal. Oh come on, it's in here somewhere. Parachute. Actually, that occurs to me. Rather than putting legs on it, regular man parachute. Drogue. No, don't want drogues. Let's put a pair of these thunking great big parachutes on. And then at stage, decoupler. Alright, let's fill our little science bay, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Fill our little science bay. The button down here says science, so we want. Let's put in a pair of thermometers. Let's put in a pair of pressure, pressure sensors. Not too fast about then keeping our delta V wall up. And we will also stick in and rotate you. That's the wrong rotation. Again, the wrong rotation. Yes. In the middle like that. Yes, I can. Alright, I should be able to get everything from there. Close the bay. Oh. Well, we'll find out what happens when I open it in flight, won't we, ladies and gentlemen? Out a bit. All right, so there's a basic one of them. I want an engine. Uh, I want a bit more thrust than anything else. I don't particularly think we'll be going once we get up that high. We'll be having our own measures of fun. And now, basically, I want to get this thing really high, which is why we will need coupling, one of these, and then we're just going to go for what the enormous great big thing. Bang. Alright, so our initial stage. So that's that. It's a burn time 42 seconds, apparently. Thrust of 3000. Yes, that is that one. So 42 seconds we've got of enormous great big rocket fire coming out of that great big thing. Where's the aerodynamics? I would like four wheelets, if you would be so kind, to give us a bit more stability. So that is ideally going to get us up high enough. It's a 42 second burn. It's got a lot of thrust. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about going too fast. So a thrust to weight ratio of 2.6 is a bit fast. So if we limit the thrust, so a thrust to weight ratio of 1.3 to start with. So we get more burn time out of it. We should be fine. So there's a static coupler and there's a static coupler. So we need to fire one of those things off when we're between those speed rating. That's a big speed range, but we are above 55,000 kilometers in the air. So that is what we'll be doing soon. Right, let's make sure we've got, yeah, all right, so we've got crew. Got that, got a fuel tank, we've got three parachutes on this. We've got a load of stuff in the service bay, so we'll see how high we can get, but then we'll be splashing down, so far away, so we'll have a look at that. Happy we've got engines. Don't need a girder, don't need any of those two helpers. Got a service bay, got aerodynamics, don't need a nose cone. Don't need landing legs, not gonna get hot enough. Don't have any way of generating electricity. Do have a communitron. Let's simplify our spacecraft. Let's literally just have that. So it's a thrust to weight ratio of that. I will 
bring that down just a bit more. So this thing is just gonna go up. And we're just gonna set an altitude record and we're gonna see if we can get that contract at the same time. I'm happy we've got quite a bit of science. I'm happy we've got enough parachutes. All right, so this is hammer one. It's hammer pod one. It is, weird. it's a hammer. Oh, I know it, not a hammer, it's a thumper. I apologize, dear engine, I've got you wrong. It's a, basically, it's a thumper with a science bay on the top with a lot of parachutes. And we're gonna smash that up as high as we possibly can. But that'll be next episode. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and bye for now. Oh, comment, like, and subscribe if you wouldn't mind.